All right, so in two days, actually three days, I've had two updates pushed to this car. And uh, let's see what those are all about. Okay, what's this? Data sharing. Oh, okay. This is, uh, I guess, for you to agree to share data to uh, Tesla with your camera, which is right here. All right, so yeah, I don't mind. I don't have anything to hide. Uh, the car is updated, so software release notes. All right, so these are the two updates that I recently just got within uh, two days apart. So let's go through the current updates and then maybe work our way down to the previous update that I received two days ago. The current update is 2022.12.1 and... Now, Tesla has given you the opportunity to add additional uh, buttons at the bottom bar. So it says, you can now add vehicle controls such as divorce, windshield wipers, and seat heaters to the bottom bar. Long press any app icon to enter edit mode, then drag the desired control to the bottom bar. This is awesome. So we're not going to try these now. We're just going to go through the updates right quick and then uh work our way and actually try some of these features next child lock what's the improvement on that so child lock can now be enabled for a single rear door tap control child lock and select right left or both so i didn't know that you couldn't do this before because i mean i don't have any children that i have child lock for <laughs> my boys are old enough to know not to open the door when the car is in a move but this is a good look. Uh, I never knew that if you activate the child lock, you actually lock both doors. You activate both doors. So, and yeah, it wouldn't be good if you have <laughs> adults sitting in the back or one side and a child on the other side. So this is a good look from Tesla. I uh, appreciate that. Additional mobile app control. So dog mode and cat mode can now be enabled from the Tesla app. Note. The functionality requires mobile app version 4.7.0. So I guess you're going to have to go into your app store and update your Tesla app because Tesla app does not automatically update. If you don't know or you didn't know, now you know. Tesla app does not automatically update for your iOS devices. You literally have to go into your app store, go to your Tesla app and force update. So yeah, if you're having issues with this, that, that could be the, the reason. So you're going to have to go update your app on your phone. All right. So next we have new language support. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I believe it says Mahaba. So new language support. Your touchscreen is now available in Turkish. Nice. Shout out to all my Turkish subscribers. You've been great to me. I mean, you've been supporting my channel for a long time now. Uh, Shout out to you guys. I really appreciate these updates for you guys. Elon, thank you very much. Look, let me know what you guys think about this, man. Awesome feature right here. I do know, I mean, if you're selling cars to many countries with different languages, regardless of selling cars to different countries anyway, there are many people in the United States that don't only speak English, but other languages. So it's awesome Tesla is taking uh, its time to make sure, you know, you support our languages. This is awesome, guys. Let me know what you think about these new language uh, supports for my Turkish subscribers. By the way, uh, while we're on the topic, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and do so now. Ring the notification bell. Like this video. Share this video with your friends. So these are the, the recent updates. I uh, literally just finished updating this. And the previous ones, are, we're not going to go read all of them, but I guess... The first one was that message that we saw when I first came into the car, and that's cabin camera. Help Tesla improve an intelligence of feature <clears throat> that relies on cabin cameras by sharing analytics from your vehicle. That's pretty much what that says. And uh, it says, when enabled, cabin camera data will, will be shared with Tesla if the vehicle experienced a safety critical event like a collision or if cabin cameras functionality requires diagnostic to perform. So I don't think they're going to be recording you constantly unless, you know, something happens here, an accident. Um, next is charging time estimation. 
So estimated charging time are now more accurate by taking the current battery pack temperature into account. When, yeah, this is good. When a vehicle is connected to a supercharger or a third party fast charger. So yeah, this is awesome because I think uh, before when you plug your car to charge, especially when you're on a ro long road trip, Tesla did not account for, you know, the temperature of the battery uh, to give you a, a accurate estimate of your charge time and departure. So that's awesome. Vehicle precondition uh, improvements, uh, vehicle precondition access via the Tesla app will now remain active. Up to this is awesome because yeah, there'd be there'd be days where I precondition my car to hit the the car up to drop my kid off to school after you know my departure time uh, or uh, when I come in and open the door. The moment I open the door, the temperature goes off. This is not good. <laughs> so I'm glad. Um, yeah, I'm glad Tesla update this. So, which means when you come into your car, after you precondition your car, you open your door, it will continue running for 30 minutes while you load stuff in your trunk or your front or whatever before you leave. That's awesome. Next, active phone calls. Active phone calls. You can now hide. Yeah, this is awesome. You can now hide your phone call card, allowing you to see the next turn when the navigation turn list is covered. Tap the phone icon on the status bar to show the card again. Yeah, so pretty much when you're driving down here, your phone call, if you have no phone call, it shows up here. Say you're driving and you hit your left turn signal, that the phone call covers that, or say your navigation is showing here, the phone uh, call tends to cover that. So now you have the ability to just you know, drag it down. And hide it that's only for your phone though i'm not talking about your turn signal that's for your phone uh, i can't test it now because i don't have another phone but yeah you get the idea so pretty much what they're showing uh when you're in a phone call and uh you use your turn signal or you need to exit somewhere you need to see your, your other information you can li literally just hold here and drag it down and that will hide it next new language support we missed this oh they had added another one for check but this is a new language for my Czech subscribers. I love these languages. Tesla, keep them coming. And Toy Box. Boom Box features are now only available while parked. This was what I kind of felt sad about losing. Anyway, so these are the two last updates I just received. Uh, let's go ahead and try these current ones. So this one is for additional buttons on the bottom bar here. And to do that, you press and hold that. And voila. You have your def your front defrost, rear defrost, left seat, heated steering wheel, and wiper. So basically what they're saying is you can now, there we go. So now you can just hold this, let's do the seat. Hold it, it's an edit mode, and drag it down here. So you don't lose any of your spaces. This is awesome. You just drag it and add it. Let's see we, how many we can add. So let's do the steering wheel. When you put this down, you don't lose another one. Uh, let's do one more wiper blades. We need that. This is awesome. I still have my uh, previous controls there. Exit off. Now they're still there. Child lock, control, locks, child lock. So now you can do either both, left or right. Next, we have, okay, the mobile app. Of course, you have to update that. New language. Okay, control, display, and languages. There we go. These are all the languages that are added. All right, guys. So that is it. That's all the uh, new updates that I received. Let me know what you think down below. Is this anything uh, meaningful to you? Of course, it is to many people. But to you particularly, I'm talking to you. Is this meaningful to you? Does this add anything different? Or does this improve your Tesla life? And uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything that I'm missing. Or if there's something I need to go over or uh, anything that you want me to learn. Like I said, this community is for us to learn from each other, not just me showing you things or showing you my car. Of course, I'm showing you my lifestyle, you know, anything that has to do with Tesla. But yeah, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below, subscribe, and we'll go from there. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.